As colder weather approaches, many of us face the question of whether to get a flu shot. SNN's Hallie Pilot debunks some common flu myths in today's It's Your Health. Chills, fever, and aches, all characteristic of flu season, which is always toward the end of the year, right? Dr. Joaquin Aristimunio of Sarasota Medical Center says not exactly. There's no official start date for flu season other than when the suppliers of the vaccine give it to us. Typically, it's in the late September, early October. Some doctors worrying that this year's flu vaccine is only 10% effective against this year's strain. But Arista Munoz says the vaccine is never guaranteed to prevent the flu. Flu vaccine is actually an educated guess from the CDC as to what's going to be hitting, so it could be a hit or miss. There is some protection against the flu vaccine. According to the CDC's website, the vaccine does reduce the risk of flu by between 40 and 60 percent. Therefore, when people say that it's not working or uh, they get the flu when they take the shot, that's just, uh, just simply not true. It's possible to get mild symptoms from the vaccine, but not a full-blown case. But aside from the vaccine, there are some ways you can reduce your risk. The best way is to stay healthy. Obviously. He said something as simple as just remembering to wash your hands could be the difference between days, even weeks of pain or discomfort. Cough into the into the crook or the angle of the elbow. But the number one way, the vaccine. And this year, the needle is pretty much your only option. The nasal flu vaccine is not recommended by the CDC this year again. So if you're going to get the flu vaccine, it needs to be with a shot. For It's Your Health, I'm Hallie Pilot. Doctor says you saw four or five patients with a positive flu test today alone. He recommends the flu shot for everyone, but especially for children around six months old and people over the age of 65.